Hey wonderful human beings and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Remy and I share lots of vegan content and tips to help you live well. And today is the day that we're gonna be doing my New York City apartment tour. So I recently moved, at this point it's been only a couple of weeks and I love my new apartment so much. I explained in another YouTube video why I moved to this apartment and I also did like an empty apartment tour. So if you wanna watch that first and then watch the completed furnished apartment tour, I think that'll be a lot more fun to see like a before and after. In my apartment, everything is completely vegan because I am vegan. So that includes even like the furniture, the blankets, etc. In case that's a little bit confusing, basically what that means is that nothing in my apartment has been made from an animal byproduct. So there's no wool, there's no leather, and the products in my apartment like bedding, um, what else, towels, cooking products, they're all non-toxic as well. So if you're curious about that, I will leave a link in the description box below where you can check out a full blog post which will have links to everything that I mentioned in this video so that it's really easy for you to just click on anything that you saw. And before we get started, if you're into home content, I did create a new Instagram account, so I'll put that handle up here if you guys want to follow it. I think I should also mention that this apartment is a studio in Manhattan. I won't be talking about price um, for safety reasons because it was brought up to me that it's really easy to figure out where someone lives if you're kind of familiar with the amenities, the area, and also the price. So for safety reasons, I won't be going into that. I talk a little bit more about why I'm so nervous about that stuff in my other video. So with all that said, let's get into the tour. So this is the first thing you see when you come into the apartment. It is a shoe rack. I kind of use it as just like an entryway rack and store some of like my face masks and hand sanitizers in that basket so that I have it before I go. Shoes that I wear the most often go here. Um, I'll link this entryway rack in the blog post in the description box. Moving on, this first door brings us to the washer dryer, which is one of my favorite things in this apartment because it is definitely a rarity in New York City. And then I also keep my Swiffer style clean and mop in here. I just really like this because I love the colors. Um, so yeah, that stays in here. And on top of the washers, I just keep my laundry detergent, some extra bags for like grocery shopping, and back there, some extra bedding. In the corner, I have this one, Sarah Plant, and it's kind of sandwiched in between the two doors, um, but even when both are open all the way, it's perfectly fine, so I like it there. And behind door number two, this is actually still a work in progress. Um, I'll just show you really quickly. So this is my closet. It's actually a lot smaller than my previous apartment's closet, but it's a lot more functional because it has more organizing shelves and spaces. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you may know that I recently cleaned out my closet. So I got rid of about 50%. I still feel like I have quite a decent amount of clothing. So I guess I just had a lot, a lot of clothing, but I'm still working on organizing this stuff on the floor here because I'm waiting on some recycled plastic bins to come in. I also have my handy Dyson in here and this step stool, which I've been using while I've been moving in to get things onto high shelves. So this is a work in progress. Maybe I'll film um, a closet organization before and after video in the near future. So this is the before, <laughs> very much the before. This is the bathroom. Lighting is a little bit funky in here and there's probably gonna be an echo, but we've got a um, bathtub shower combo situation. The only thing that I wanna figure out is something that I can do with the product. I don't really like having it on the edge of the tub because I feel like it constantly falls in. But um, unlike my last apartment, this shower head doesn't have the option to put like a rack over it. So I need to find something that I can do either on the wall, maybe something I can hang on this shower rod. But um, aside from that, I love the bathroom. I just feel like it could use a little bit of organization, you know? I've got all the corners covered right now. This is the sink, nothing too special there. Toilet, also nothing too special. Here's a sneak peek of my medicine cabinet. Um, it looks like more than it is because in this bathroom you can only put like one product on the shelf at a time. I mean, I do have a lot of products, but not as much as it looks like, I swear. This is one of my first plants ever. His name is George and he's been quite a trooper. I actually kind of gave up on him a while ago, um, but he's still here and now he's actually sprouting some new leaves. So I think he's very happy in this apartment. This is a little bed bench that I have and I don't think it's actually intended to be a bed bench, but I just kind of wanted something at the end of the bed to make it look a little bit more complete. I feel like it just ties together the bedroom a little bit more and it's also a nice place to store like pajamas or sit and get dressed in the morning. Then I have this weighted blanket here. I really, really love sleeping with a weighted blanket and this one particularly is also made with sustainable materials, so it's a win-win. And I think it's also just a really beautiful piece, so it's not only functional, but it's also decorative at the same time, which is key. The sheets that I have are sustainable material from West Elm and I'll link that in the description box below. Then I have the same pillows from my last apartment, if you guys remember that, and my big sloth over there. And on the bedside, I kept one of the bedside tables here because it's really 
really handy to have. I've got my salt lamp over there, a candle, two crystals, which again is another piece of decorative but also functional decor, and this monstera plant, which I moved by the window because it gets really great morning light, and I think it's just really happy here. It's sprouting some new leaves as well, so love that for him. This is a little coffee table slash dining table, also from the old apartment, and I kind of put it in the middle of the space because the space is quite open, but I love it because it's right by the window, so you get great natural light. I have some Palo Santo sticks here, and these are very old. I've had these for a while, so I haven't purchased any new ones, um, but I do want to use up the ones that I already have. And I've got two chairs here with a similar aesthetic to the table, kind of like that white and wooden Nordic Scandinavian look. Next is the kitchen. I spend most of my time here. I actually filmed a separate kitchen video, so if you guys missed that, I did a full tour of not only the kitchen, but also what's in the pantry and in the fridge, so I'll just skip over this for now. So that is the new apartment tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know by giving it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and comment below. Let me know what your favorite part of the apartment is and I will see you in another video soon. Bye.